Tani's here with Skeleton Lord and a guest star Gilligan at our very Lord. first video game review. And we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be reviewing the release gameplay of Outlast 2. So Skeleton just finished watching it and I want to hear his thoughts on it. I can't believe I just sat through like a, a quick, a sped up version of half hour gameplay that just ends with a pickaxe of the crotch. Are you gonna right. play it? No, because I don't want to like cringe in pain. What about you, Gilligan? Are you gonna play the game? Uh, no, because me just half watching it and you know, just being scared at the noises and just staring at the other side of my screen and watching it. And just cringing at certain parts and just getting scared because of noises? No. <laughs> I'm gonna play it. Am I the only girl? Am I, I am a chick and you're saying I got more balls than the two of you to play this game. Well, after the scene we witnessed, yeah, you kind <laughs> yes, of. Do. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so from what I heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently Outlast 2 is gonna be touching on some really, I don't know, sensitive topics like the whole. I'm, religion from what I saw, and stuff yeah. like that. You know, you don't. If you want to make a game about religion, you just turn the T upside down, and it looks like an upside down cross. <laughs> Controversy. No, yeah. but I, but, um, I mean that they're going to be pushing the boundaries because when you think of like a lot of horror games, you don't see a lot of games that actually go that Jesus. far. <laughs> You don't see Jesus in my in my <laughs> American horror game. There's Jesus. <laughs> no, but like on a serious <laughs> note, do you think it's gonna backfire on them? I don't think it will. I think it'll definitely get a lot of um. Hey, it's you should like, do that and blah blah. You know. It's gonna be controversy, but the good controversy. Do you think Scarecrow will play it? I don't know. I don't Hold think on. so. <laughs> uh, I don't think he will. Do you guys think this is going to be more scary than the first Outlast was? As somebody who's... Oh, uh, so, someone I has, haven't as, played Outlast, as, so I don't know. <laughs> as someone who's replaying Outlast, it's scary. Like, even though I've played most... Of, like, I think I got to like the halfway point or something. I'm actually getting to the point where um, that's how far I got in the game, and I don't know what happens next. Um, oh, man. But I am I am totally chicken to play Outlast, so I'm I'm really scared about Outlast too. I might just drag someone over. I'm thinking about dragging my best friend Svenray over um, when he's not at work, and we're gonna play it together. But um, yeah, I I expect my, I'm gonna be crying a lot. <laughs> uh, from from what I imagine, seeing as how Outlast one Outlast one was in a like. Is that like a mental asylum, I think? Yeah, it's a mental asylum in Colorado. Yeah, and at Welcome to Outlast 2, middle of butt fuck nowhere. You know, Seriously. there's there's definitely going to be some atmosphere change, and I feel like, you know, let's get out. You cut out there for a second, what'd you say? Uh, definitely some atmosphere change, for the better. Well, I mean, we're outside. And yeah, then there's exactly. the school. What the hell does the school have to do with it? I mean, like, you're in the middle of nowhere, and then... Jesus. And then you're in the school, and then in the locker, just like, hey, another room in the locker. So, like, what? Right. <laughs> what? Like, what magic bullshit did you pull out? <laughs> Man. I want to know, like, what is the actual plot? Like, do you guys think that maybe the Wall Rider is going to come back, or something like the Wall Rider? No. From the first game? I need to play LS1, I have no idea what the fuck the wall rider is. <laughs> the wall rider? Yeah. Okay, so. Alright, so basically. Alright, alright. Alright, yes. No, okay, so, spoiler. The wall rider. The whole point of Mount Massive Asylum was to actually do a bunch of projects, and one of them was called Wall Rider, which is basically a bunch of nanobots or something like that that turned into an, like a supernatural force that killed most of the people in the asylum. Holy shit. What? <laughs> yeah. So. Do we think that maybe Mount Massive Asylum or um, the people who did the project, maybe that has something to do with the person who started the project, Dr. Wernicke, do you think something like that could appear in LS2, a sort of like a connection, or do you think this is going to be like completely... I feel like just so they don't milk the same story dry, they're going to do something different. 
They might, like, yeah, I think they're doing something different. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, I they think it'll come reference it or put some, put some like, like Easter eggs or something about it, but I don't think they're gonna, you know, do a copy and paste of it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was saying, because um, we all hate copy paste games. <laughs> even, <laughs> even though there's so many of those out there. Yeah, that's true. Some of them are actually kind of good. Well, yeah, but I mean, if they did that with Outlast 2, I definitely think that I, I know for a fact a lot of people would be really disappointed in that, and I would be one of them. Coming as a kid who's currently doing marketing, that's definitely gonna fuck up their sales. Oh no, companies. I agree. I did marketing too, in college. I did that. I did it in high school. Yay! Nerd. Right. Um. Do we? I don't know. How do we feel about the the sound thing that they put in the camera? Oh, that's gonna make, that's gonna make you stare <laughs> death in the eye. Two hundred percent. I'm time. so scared. Yeah. I actually just finished uh, recording episode six for tomorrow for Outlast 1, and I shit you not, Anima can back me up on this, but I was sitting in, there's like a, underwater, there's like a water part, and you can't see shit, but you can hear oh. someone in the water, and I'm trying to figure out where the fuck it's coming from. Oh, uh, it's terrible, no. So, part of me is really happy for it, because I'll know which way not to run. <laughs> but but at you'll the know which way, way to look, look in fear. Yeah, basically. So I'm like, oh fuck. And I'm wondering if it's gonna be one of those games like um they, I know later on in Outlast two. No, not in Outlast two, in Outlast one. Um you have lockers that you can hide in, those are your safe spots, but I know that there's a point in the game, I can't remember if it was in the DLC or not, but uh somebody locks you in a locker. That was whistleblower. Yeah, yeah that was, yeah, so I'm like, okay, so is the camera gonna play a trick on me? Or if it is something like the wall rider, is it gonna be one of the things that it sounds like it's coming from the left but it's really coming from the right? You know oh, what I mean? Uh, oh, I yeah. thought of something really bad with that then. What? If the game tries to distract you, like, you see something approaching on the, or hear something approaching on the right quickly. Yeah. And suddenly there's a loud bang on the left, and your camera's like, oh, it jumped to the left. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't that's... to the right. I think that the developers would probably make sure that that didn't happen a lot. They'd probably make... The like volume. scripted events, that's what Yeah, yeah probably. Um, Man, we are good at reviewing games. <laughs> it's not like we're professionals. <laughs> yeah, it's not like professional. And I also, <laughs> and I also think it would be really interesting to see if they make it to, like I was talking beforehand, uh, if they make it to VR. No, 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 no. It would be expensive, but I think people would buy it. People would buy so, it. People, people would definitely yeah. buy it. They eat that shit up. Excellent. Exactly. <laughs> it's VR. So it's not. It's not entirely impossible that well, they it's would. Just, just, it's yeah. just longer. <laughs> I feel like it would definitely be like a major update during the game. Yeah. Like a year into its life cycle. Like, yeah. Hey, remember um... and how you shit yourself? Now do it in VR. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do like if they end up doing it in VR. I think um some of the bigger YouTubers will do it. Like maybe Markiplier, um maybe uh, Jesse Cox. My, I I'm more excited if the possibility. And I know that they're probably not gonna watch this, but if they do, I want the Scary Game Squad to do Outlast too. You got Adam. <laughs> I know. I know. But I really want to see them do LS2. I know that they're going to do Resident Evil 7, and I'm super excited about that. But LS2 is what we're focusing on, so I want them to do LS2. I think it'd be great. There are a lot of people who should do LS2. But I do think that uh, it's usually... Let I think me it, pull up my sponsored <laughs> list. Of I think... I, think um, <laughs> I definitely think that the bigger YouTubers are going to be the ones to do VR, though. If it does yeah, come out in yeah. VR. Or they'll probably get, like, some special offer, like, hey... If you do it in VR, we're gonna pay you eighteen grand or something. Oh, that would like be good. I'd do it. I'd do it for eighteen grand. <laughs> or there, or they could do like some event. If you can play through the whole game in VR without taking the like Oculus off once, you get some sort of like reward or something. Or, or screaming. <laughs> oh, well, I, no, everybody would scream. Guaranteed. Yeah, it's guaranteed, dude. Teaser that's ex yeah, that's screaming. exactly how it's gonna end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I don't know if they're gonna release any more gameplay though. Yeah, I think 
Maybe another one, but I think that's gonna be it because that's how usually gameplay demos end. Yeah. If they usually leave you in a really bad cliffhanger. <laughs> they usually leave you in a really bad cliffhanger spot. It's just like... I think I think you guys are more concerned about the fact that the pickaxe went straight into the guy's balls, but I'm a chick, so I'm okay with it. I mean, I'll feel I feel the pain. <laughs> that it removed an entire, it removed like a triangle out of his crotch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's that's not fun. The group for whistleblower got his vengeance. The dude in Whistleblower almost got his <laughs> chopped off by a table saw, may I mind you. I think it would be really cool if, um, I don't know, if there was a reference to maybe Dr. Wardeke or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, so in the is, school, there's just, yeah. like, an alumni poster or something, and it has him on it. Or something. Yeah. Um, do we know what year the game takes place? Um... Like, do we know it's at this if it's at the same time as Outlast One takes place in 2014, or is this like new? Like, I'm assuming yeah. it's yeah. Old, newer, maybe. Well, the camera is more high tech, that more techy. Oh, actually, good. You know, point. you're right. My bad. I think then, setting wise, I don't know the time, but I think I can guess like it's gonna. It like has to be said, like middle of butt fuck nowhere. Well, yeah. But, like, a place where, you know, stuff stopped catching up with modern times. Like, like an abandoned a Amish country? country? N not Amish, because they still have, like, lawnmowers and shit. I'm talking more like small farming town. Like, you know what I mean? No, I know what you mean, but I'm trying to think, is there a place like that that... If you go to Colorado, probably. Uh, actually, kinda, yeah. I was there a couple it's years ago. Wink, wink. Maybe it's in Colorado again. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're great at this. Okay, so what... <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, so going back to the whole setting, you're in an abandoned town, right? And then... You it looks crawl more like a giant farm. And then you crawl it, into a hole and there's a school. school. Okay, so what? it wasn't you crawling into a hole. You got flung into a goddamn well by tentacle demon. So are we but that school seems a little new, like compared to the first setting. Underground No Jesus No, this isn't fear. No, this isn't fear. I don't know, man. No. Underground Jesus no. School Stop sounds it. like a no. pretty good idea. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> let, let me just state the whole body and the like, like plus like, like the baby, baby bodies like oh, oh my god the baby body ones were so creepy. Uh, I don't I don't think Skeleton I, saw that in the in the video he watched. I don't um, think I did. Gilligan, but, will um, you will you pull that up for him and show it to him? Yeah. Um. Just, I want to hear, no, I really want to hear your thoughts on this skeleton, because that is something that I know um, people are going to be really pissed about. Oh, look! Just, just from the way you're mentioning it, I'm already concerned. Sorry, the old look was because I didn't think I was going to get paid until Friday, but I got paid today. Oh, man, look at that money! And that money is going to go into bills. That money is going to go into Outlast 2, brought to you in part You had to post PewDiePie, didn't you? You had to post Poots. It's, it's the only one I remembered what time it was. Marky Boo has it. How far in? Uh, about 8.57. Uh, How do you know this? 8.57. Oh, right. You want to? I forgot to watch the intro to the game. And why is there a helicopter crash? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, that's aren't you, important. like, isn't the guy that you play a news reporter, or is it his wife yeah, that's a no, news reporter? No, um, it's you and another person, I don't, I'm not sure if it's his wife or not. I think it's his it wife. Like, but they go into, uh, because it's, a uh, there's a lady that, that, and then a daughter that was going, that came out of that area, and so they're going in to investigate, they're kind of like, I, I'm not sure if they're news reporters. They might be like investigators, you know. Oh no, we're follow we're stuff. following the steps of Mile Upshur. But yeah, so baby crosses. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> yeah, and just it just that part it just creeped me out because like 
Oh, like the way that they actually make it so when you're stepping on top of it, it makes oh, like, God, yeah, the noises. The sound. I haven't yeah. played the gameplay because I'm so scared. Um, oh. oh, oh, it's going down into a crypt, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's a teddy bear on the ground, too, before it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot of religion in this. Basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> like the hay bale and shit. Uh -huh. Alright. Oh, it's full of blood, too, to add that extra controversy. There's the baby pit. Yep. The baby pit. Well, it's also... I'm not sure if it's babies, but that's what you know, I'm stating it as, because they can't be look like adults. Or something, but they don't look like child. They look like mannequins. Yeah, they look like yeah. a, uh, they look like dolls. Then again, they're making crunching noises. Then again, <laughs> For, yeah. But when you step on a bunch of toys, again, they make crunching noises. Just, uh, Not bone crunching noises, though. Sure, if you're like, if they're old <laughs> enough, maybe the porcelain, maybe. I don't know. Oh, because, fuck! I hate the fact that I'm taking forensics too. <laughs> oh no! I'm looking at these, I'm like, they they look too waxy to be humans. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I first saw the gameplay. But at the same time, oh, it is a video no, game. That's, that's definitely a human. That's meant to be. So, do we think there's yeah. like a direct connection from the girl to the farmhouse? I mean, not the girl from the the school to the farmhouse. Um, do you, I, think I think there might be. There might be some sort of hidden connection, but it's not until I get, I think you get into the game later. Yeah. It's that like you'll that you'll like notice the connection. connection. But yeah. So overall, because um we're running out of time, the only one out of the three of us that's gonna play this game is me. I mean, I'd watch. Yeah. I'd be the friend who's like, dude. <laughs> no, no, dude, there's I need the person that makes you turn around. <laughs> I'm, I'm the guy who runs over to the lights. Is like we're not playing this with the lights off anymore. No, I'm gonna play it like in the middle of the day, like right when I get off of work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, skeleton, would be, skeleton Lord would be the one that gets like blackout curtains and put it puts it all over your windows and be like, now you're playing. No, no, no. That, no that's scarecrow. No. That's scarecrow I'm and Anima. The guy who literally will break a hole in your wall if there are no <laughs> windows. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not I'm not gonna play this at night. And I like how I have the edgiest, spookiest name and I'm the fucking biggest wuss here. Are you, again, I and you know what guys, YouTube people who's listening to this, I'm gonna reveal this. I still cry in haunted houses. Alright? Jokes on you. I don't enter haunted houses. <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I haven't entered a haunted house since I was like 10. I think the last one I've entered was a fucking Disney ride house and I. Oh, was it Mount. Was it, uh. I, I think I cried during. The haunted that. mansion? Yeah, I was. I was a lot Is this room actually stretching? No, I cried on Indiana Jones was I, when I was younger. <laughs> okay, that's. 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 That's a bit funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're out of time for this one. Uh, thank you guys for joining Gilligan and Skeleton Lord and I in our review of the gameplay and revealed shit of Outlast 2 and our theories. Let us know what your theories are, because I'm nice. sure everybody's nice. got a lot of words for those. Theory. Oh man, gotta, gotta get, get that Matt Pat revenue. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I just, I regret that joke immediately. Oh, I'm sure you do. I can feel your soul cringing. <laughs> it's like, dude, what you doing? You Illa boy from Illinois, what you doing? I am but a humble Illa boy. From where? From in the state of Illinois. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna announce that, I'm gonna announce the next review topic now. Um, I'll post it on Twitter and everywhere else. Um, the next one is going to be the gameplay of Resident Evil 7. Oh, boy. Um, so if you guys are interested, send me a shout. Uh, I'll post what day we're going to record and how to get a hold of me and all that good stuff. Um, I do have to tell you, though, um, 
Skeleton Lord, Gilligan, it, Scarecrow, and Svenray do have first dibs on the open available spots. Thank so, you. thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week in our next review. Later! Boy. Yeah, yeah, boy.